be a lot of controversy regarding my last video on the Drano bottle bomb. So let's go over a few things. First, yes, you can make a bomb out of just water, Drano, and tinfoil. Second, no, I did not explain the full details of how to make this bomb. Now, I did a lot of research and I did months of experimenting to finally get this to work. Oh, and as a side note, someone actually accused me of not doing this experiment myself, but I promise you that was me in my backyard at the time of that video. And you can even see my tattooed ring in the video. So yes, I did this experiment on my own. It just took me a long time to figure out how to make it work. Third, yes, the formula for the chemical reaction was wrong. And I am so sorry that I did not investigate my research further. I promise you that if I make any mistakes in any of my videos, I will do what I can to correct them. Out of almost 100 videos, that's the first time I've got it wrong. Now, how the reaction works was correct, and we'll talk about that again at the end of this video. But for the chemical formula, I don't know what it is, I couldn't find it anywhere, and that is way above my grade level. Four. Now kids, or adults, if you're thinking about doing this, don't. Just don't. Why would you ever purposely harm anyone, including yourself? And don't forget, this is a bomb, so there will be legal repercussions. Just don't do it. Now, if you're curious, like I know I am, I would just warn you to take extreme precautions. I had one that hadn't gone off in the yard. So after a few days, I went to pick it up and it went off in my arm. And I felt it all the way up to my shoulder and my entire arm was sore for over a week. So please be extra careful. Make sure that you have an extra adult around. Make sure that you clear the area, you stand back, you act fast, and you wear your protective gear. Also, the liquid inside heats up and can get very, very hot, so please just make sure you stay away from it. And if you think it's not gonna go off, just kind of walk over and lightly kick it. Now last, and possibly the most important here, is in providing these facts. Now some of you think that it's irresponsible for me to provide this information but I think it's irresponsible to not educate our kids. I think that it's more important to educate our kids than leaving them to find out on their own because kids are smart and no matter how much you try hiding from them, they're going to figure it out. But if they learn it from us, then we have a chance to help guide them, to educate not only what is right, but why they should do what is right. Now for the fun science part, how does this bomb work? Well, Drano is known to break things down. And it breaks things down so that it can move smoothly through your pipes. So the active ingredient here is sodium hydroxide. It's a sodium atom with an oxygen and a an hydrogen atom. And we talk about atoms in this video here. Now, the sodium hydroxide breaks down the protective coating that's on the tinfoil. Or aluminum, doesn't matter which one. But once the tin or aluminum, the metal, is exposed, the metal grabs an oxygen out of the water. And as we learned in all our many water experiments, water is just H2O, two hydrogens and an oxygen. So once the tin or aluminum pulls the oxygen out of the water, you're left with H2, which is hydrogen gas. And that hydrogen gas just builds up until there just isn't enough room and it busts out and frees itself. And as far as the heat, I apologize, I'm not sure what causes the heat. I know it's an exothermic reaction, so some part of the reaction is having a lot of energy and it releases as heat. So thank you so much for everyone that was watching and for all of you that left comments. Every comment helps me learn how to make better videos. So I appreciate them all, keep them coming. And again, if you're going to do this, just please make sure you are careful because I would love to see you next time. Bye.